Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to solve real-world problems using numbers in scientific notation. Before we begin solving problems, let's talk about choosing the correct units. For instance, did you know that human hair grows 9.5 times 10 to the negative fifth miles per year? This is also equivalent to about 6 inches per year. Which of these units can you best visualize? Six inches, of course. As opposed to this very small number in miles, we can actually visualize how much hair has grown, knowing that it'll, it will grow about six inches in one year. A tectonic shift happens when two plates of the Earth's crust move. We can find deep ocean trenches, volcanoes, and rift valleys like the one pictured at the boundaries of these plates. Which rate is most appropriate when talking about how quickly these plates shift? They are both in scientific notation, and if it is not quite clear, we can write these numbers in standard notation. Doing so, we can see that describing the shift in millimeters makes a lot more sense. Brandon and Jared run an average of 8 meters per second. Brandon points out that this is about 1.8 times 10 to the first miles per hour. If they were to run 3,000 miles across the country, how long would it take? To determine the answer, we can divide the total number of miles by the rate they run. We know they are running a total of 3,000 miles, which will divide by 1.8 times 10 to the first miles per hour. Since we are working with a total that is in miles, the rate in miles will best, best help us with our calculations. Okay, now we can rewrite 3,000 in scientific notation. 3 divided by 1.8 is approximately 1.7. Using the quotient rule, we can subtract exponents to get 10 to the second power. It will take approximately 1.7 times 10 to the second or 170 hours to run across the country. Jerry and his team will be taking off on a mission to the moon. They will travel 2.5 times 10 to the fourth meters or 2.5 times 10 to the first kilometers before they break through Earth's ozone layer. Then, they will travel another 3.9 times 10 to the 8th meters or 3.9 times 10 to the 5th kilometers to the moon. How far will they travel in total? First, let's decide which units we want to work with, meters or kilometers. For this problem, kilometers is a much more appropriate unit since Jerry and his team are traveling such a long distance. Okay. To find the total kilometers traveled, we're going to have to add the two distances together. Remember, when adding or subtracting expressions in scientific notation, they must be the same powers of 10. So, let's add 4 powers of 10 to the first expression, and in turn, we make the first factor of this expression smaller by 4 powers of 10. Great, we can rewrite our addition problem to reflect these changes. We will add the first two factors and multiply by the common power of 10. We can keep our answer in scientific notation, or we can write it in standard notation to see that they will travel a total of 390,025 kilometers to the moon. Okay, it's your turn. Becca is creating a mosaic in her kitchen using square tiles. The box containing the tiles shows the width of each tile two different ways. If it takes 225 tiles to cover the width of the kitchen, how wide is Becca's kitchen? Go ahead and try to figure this one out. Well, if we multiply the width of a tile by the number of tiles, we can find our answer. Let's first choose which unit we want to work with. For this problem, it makes most sense to work in meters since millimeters is far too small of a unit to measure the width of a kitchen in. Okay, so we will multiply 2 times 10 to the negative second times 225 or 
2.25 times 10 to the second tiles. 2 times 2.25 is equal to 4.5. And using the product rule of exponents, we can add exponents to get 10 to the zero power. We can leave our answer in scientific notation or write it in standard notation to see that Becca's kitchen is four and a half meters long. Great job. Thank you.